Hello, gentle stallion, bird thing, and puppy. I'm here to announce the winner of our little game we had during Crystal Mountain PonyCon. Oh, I'm all a Twitter. Well, judging by the number of registration codes, Silver Quill wins. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, thank you for the fun challenge, Doctor. You are, as ever, an enjoyable opponent. Honestly, I never really expected I'd win any of these contests. It's actually more intriguing to find out what kind of movie awaits everyone else. Firebrand, you should be used to this by now. I hate you. Well, ta-ta, everyone. I wish you well and whatever punishment Lightning Bliss plans to visit upon you. I can't see this working in my favor. Nope, I've decided to change the rules because I can't. All of you will be watching this. <laughs> and suddenly things are looking up. Misery loves company. Misery and I are in a trial separation. It isn't working out. So, what are we watching? Only my most favorite movie from my childhood. One that I watched so many times I actually lost count. The hug -a bunch movie. Oh no, not the hug -a bunch movie. Anything but the hug -a bunch movie. Question. You have no idea what this is, do you? Do you? Sounds like a veggie flavored candy. Or an invitation to a restraining order. Well, considering last year's adventure into G3 territory, I can't imagine this being anywhere near as bad. Oh, trust me. You're in for a real treat. <laughs> Opening up with balloons. Already this doesn't bode well. They float. They all float down here. You know this movie won an Emmy for Best Effects? And Suicide Squad won an award for makeup and hairstyles. Life is surprising. There's something very mystifying going on. Yes, it's how little the studio cared about getting someone who can act. Parents don't give presents unless there's a reason. Yes, how dare they give you random acts of appreciation. Suspect, Suspect everything. Why? Why? Because we love you. Because you've been such a good girl. But not that good. Okay, who'd she kill? Sounds like me, doesn't it? I think I'll name him Sweet William. Because apparently every other William is not. Well, let me explain to you about our family. We live in this house. Really? I thought you lived in the car. It used to belong to Grandpa and Grandma, but we bought it when he died. So they'll never find the bodies. Mom, don't try to help so much. Just stick with the cooking, okay? And feminism marches on. And that's my brother Andrew, a grump. I guess he takes after my Aunt Ruth. Why are you all looking at me? Andrew's in electronic junk and baseball, like all his friends. Hey, it's like the reviewers! Not really. We're not into baseball. And we don't have friends. Never have time to do anything around here anymore. Hugging dolls is starting to bleed into brushing Barbie hair time. Let's protest. Who was that? Sounded like the mating call of a techno chicken. Aha! Uh -huh. You do watch that! You hear it? Barely. Under the high-pitched ocarina synth. What? What did you say? Who's in there? Come into the closet and never come out. Bridget, your breakfast is getting cold. I am- Holy crap! Paranormal activity is getting weird. We come for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> Bridget, please, we're talking. Away from me, unclean one. Uh, no. Morning, Andrew. I figured we'd go through all Hey, knock it off! We don't take kindly to you hugging types around, ya. Yeah? Mom, keep away from me, will ya? I'm gonna catch cooties. Just cut it out, see? Yeah, see? Yeah. Can't figure out what accent they're going for here. Silly Brooklyn or silly Southern? Mom, I heard it again. For what, honey? The voice. It tells me the Elder Gods require a sacrifice. He is the Ancient. He is the land. When I was little, I heard voices in my mirror, too. We call that schizophrenia. I don't think we're really at that point, Ruth. You're just postponing the inevitable. We've got to hire those hitmen sooner or later. What is wrong with this? Hands peeking out of mirrors? Hearing voices? This isn't a toy commercial. This is Pan's Labyrinth. Ignoring the big kid talks on the fact that they are trying to take the granny out to the pasture. 
<laughs> Get it? Because we ponies. It's your decision. None of us are going to force it on you, okay? I uh, accept your daughter. We just got through this. Ugh, I can't stand how you put your plastic eggs on your toast, plebeian. You know, I think we should carry this discussion into- I wonder what's on the ceiling that he finds so interesting. He's looked up there like five times already. What's going on? Boy, are you thick. It's Grandma. What about her? They're putting her out to pasture. Euthanasia! You know, for kids! Next, we're going to use Ken and Barbie to talk about the wonders of divorce. At least they didn't use the Transformers to discuss mortality. Dude, too soon. Too soon? You weren't even on the planet then! But that's not right! We gotta do something! So send a telegram to your congressman. A caring congressman? That's harder to believe than hands in a mirror. You sit there shoving space nuggets in your face like nothing's happening! What? You don't love anybody but yourself and your dumb old computer! Ladies and gentlemen, the first millennial. Andrew hates to show that he cares. Well, boys are sometimes funny about things like that. Remember, kids, judging by gender is okay. The doll movie said so. Remember the stories I used to tell you? About the land of hugs? No, you usually tell me about the war, and then you start crying. Vast meadows where the cherish trees grow. Got news for you, boys. There are no cherries. <laughs> However, could there not be? You'll find it next to Oz, Wonderland, and Narnia. See, you guys don't get old, but grandmothers do. And according to Andrew, that's the problem. That's the problem? Are they gonna try and find the secret to eternal life? Welcome to Full Metal Hug-A-Bunch. Ooh, so instead of a retirement home, let's call the taxidermist. Think I didn't see you, Kerfavo. Put that cookie back. Put that cookie down! We're all seated. Where's your monkey manners? The same place as my dolphin sense. Wow, really? What does that do? <laughs> May I kill him? No. Emmeline, meet Sweet William. Hey, you two should kiss! Oh. Uh, what in the heck was that? Link's off day. <gasps> ah! We've been watching you through the mirror for a long time. What the fuck? There is no right way to take that. Yes, we've been watching you a long time. <laughs> Are there more of you? Bunches more. The whole hug of bunch clan. Does you want to join our guild? It's the first time anybody ever came through my mirror before. Why did you say that like it was a completely normal sentence? It's one of your basic perplexiconic chemical miracles. Oh, great. We're dealing with a hoganologist. Word didn't attempt to autocorrect that, and that disturbs me. <laughs> through the doors, the closet, but through the mirror, it's Hugaland. I went through my mirror once. What was behind it? 34 stitches. We hug all the live long day. Get a job, hippie. She's a good hugger. So am I. So am I. I'll show you. Oh. I'll never let go, Jack. I promise. You're a really good. What's that? A uh, cheap video effect. Sparkles real good when you get a real honest clinching clinger. Take a shot. Not a word. Hey, not our fault everything in this movie is phrased just the wrong way. I'm the only one with savoir faire. Why should I worry? Why should I care? It means I have charm. Pink hair, blue eyes, yellowish skin. Eh, half the bronies will believe it. I'll charm his teeth right out of his gums. I'll stab a fam till he's putty in my hug. No words. <laughs> Take a shot. <laughs> I got charms I ain't never turned loose yet. So, this is a kid's movie, yes? <sighs> in theory. I'm never gonna be able to hug Lightning Bliss again after this. Oh, sweet Celestia, thank you. Hey. Andrew's in for a big surprise. Understatement of the year. That's his collection of baseball caps. He's a very boring child. I don't think you'll mind us borrowing one of his caps. Take any freeze frame from the shot and you'll never sleep again. <laughs> Huggins! Huggins, where are you? How'd you lose her so fast? I don't think the pink Chucky doll was too hard to spot. I don't like it in here. Spin transition. Your Aunt Ruth is picking me up at 4.30 and I have a lot to get done. Like writing Ruth out of my will. 
Seriously, does she think I'm not mad about this? She's gonna live with strangers because she's old. What's old? Silver Quill. Oi! I'm as good as new. Inside is still a little squishy. You just need to do more crunches. The ones by Nestle? Now let me think. My hand is delicious. The bookworm! Twilight Sparkle? He thread everything. Even Fifty Shades of Grey? Uh, dude, 1985. So, Catcher in the Rye? Very dirty minds. Almost not safe for me. <laughs> a talking worm? Give me a break. Yes, a sentient doll that came out of your mirror is fine, but an intelligent worm is just too far-fetched. But first we gotta get it real squishy. <gasps> no. Take a shot. <laughs> Catch the mirror. But she didn't take the red pill. Wow. Heavens, they're multiplying. Oh, well, we don't shake hands here. What do you do? We hug. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. Makes you feel good all over. Take a shot. Don't forget me, I'm Tweaker. Take a shot. I wish more folks were like you. Like your mom and dad in that room, rushing around busy all the time. Goodness, how long have you been spying on them? The NSA must be drooling right now. Let's all explain to her. <laughs> don't sing, 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 oh, drat. Okay, now I'm getting G3 flashbacks. I warned you! How good a hug can be? Oh, hi, I wish Grandma was here. Is she high? She sounds high. I'm not entirely sure we're not. Shh, talk quietly through here. Why? Wait, they procreate? Not safe for pussy! Moving on! Side by side we'll face it with a hug. So let's hug along along. Let's hug. Who gives a flying hug? Language! Ah, uh, oh yes. Gerontology. That's an actual thing. Really? Googling it! Gerontology. Noun. The study of the social, cultural, psychological, cognitive, and biological aspects of aging. Huh, did you look at that? We learned something. The aging of grandmothers may be slowed down and sometimes halted by, one, a great deal of affection, two, an abundance of hugging, three, and this is very important, the knowledge that they are needed. I don't feel right making a joke about that. That's actually pretty deep. Instant happiness. Instant gladness. Ramen! Booze! Will you both shush? So where do I find this young berry tree? There's only one, and it grows in the country of shrugs. Detroit? It's awfully dark in there. I don't think it's Christmas town down there. Down to the nether bottom. Past the hairy behemoth. The nether bottom. The hairy behemoth. Take a shot! Goodbye forever. You'll never come back. Follow you under J for jerk. Listen, I've got a great idea! Let's not go. Follow the sidewalk. That's about... <laughs> okay, props for that epic visual pun. Uh... <laughs> I cannot believe Ocarina of Time stole the Forest Temple thing from Hogabotch! You know who else walks on walls? Who? The demonically possessed! I think y'all need to angle yourselves. <laughs> Since when did Dorothy walk the Yellow Brick Road with the Lollipop Guild? Okay, this is actually a pain to watch now. It's more disorienting than Battlefield Earth. Why not just turn your head to the side? Maybe you need a new perspective, eh? Eh? Pull me tighter, Bridget! Take a shot! Gravity changes here. And now Mario Galaxy stole from this! Why, Nintendo? What's gravity? Gravity means- <gasps> Oh hey! Gravity Falls! Ooh! It's the hairy behemoth! Snuffleupagus is goth phase. This sounds insane coming from the Hug-a-Bunch movie, but that is the most metal thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He's just another animal, and animals need love just as much as we do. Oh, so that rattlesnake that bit me was just lonely? It just wanted to hug you. 
with its fangs. Dr. Wolf is huggable. Oh, really? Nope. Every word you just said is a lie. Of course you're an elephant. What'd you think you were? Nightmare fuel? A Barney reject? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, that mean old queen of quartz told me I was a leather footstool. What? Meh, I almost thought that I was a futon for a week. Oddly specific. What? I'd made questionable life choices. I faint when I get scared. I scream like a schoolgirl on helium. My name is Bridget Severson. And I'm Huggins! And I'm Hugsy. I'm the guy who saved you. Now I own you? Why? You owe me a favor. Oh, okay then. Because there's no such thing as doing something because it's right. Indeed, good deeds are only a currency you can use to exploit others. Huh. Oh. Wow. I think he's finally feeling the effects of the acid. This movie is acid. By the power of Grayskull. Well, okay then. Gotta hand it to the 80s when they were willing to put so much dark subject matter into their kids' shows. Well, that's not very friendly. In other news, water wet. Just hug the teeth. They'll turn into petunias. <laughs> the queen of quartz ain't no lady. Hey, look at this crown I found. What are you watching? Hug a bunch. And I'm out. I came all this way to save my grandmother. The rest of you, you're all expendable to me. Oh my gosh! There it is! A young berry tree. That was easy. Where are all the guards? You have a serious chip on your shoulder. Oh great, it's 4chan. I can't believe it! The Goombas in this look better than the ones in the Mario Brothers movie! Who are these scruffy, dreadful creatures? They've interrupted my Snow White cosplay party. I'm Bridget Saracen, and I'm an American citizen. And I'm a Rainbow Alicorn. Your point? And I don't have to kneel down to any old body. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty, but it's written in our Constitution. No, it isn't. Around here, you little freckle-faced missy, don't you forget it. This woman's facial expressions rival Mr. Bean. I ship it. Don't you dare! The answer is no! <laughs> Ridiculous. Did she just become a Rita Repulsa squeaky toy? Nine, 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 nine! <laughs> you are breathtakingly scrumptious. I ship it. Stop it! Say thank you, child. Thank, thank you, child. child. Already said no! Mmm, that's some good scenery. You miserable excuse for an elephant! You were supposed to guard the castle! Careful! You're scaring the little girl! This is simultaneously the worst and greatest character to which I've ever borne witness. And what are these disgusting lumps of fur doing? I'm with her. That's what we want to know. Touching is not allowed! Take a shot! A shot? Down the bottle. I don't even know why I bother. Oh my goodness! If there's a serpent there, the answer is no. I'm like that with health shakes. Green tea for me. One for later. I'm like that with cookies. Not me, I just take the plate and run. I could spend the entire day admiring myself. Hi, Rarity. You're not bad looking for a wicked witch, but the ones in my storybooks have wrinkles and warts. Warts? You would wish me warts? Not gonna lie, if she were to break into song right now, I would not mind in the least. We've frozen in time. Forever! Just the way you are now. Longing, rusted, 17, daybreak, furnace. Oh, I, I was frozen today! And now, we can both admire me. She wants a statue of a seven-year-old admiring her for all time. I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> Isn't this fun? We're in the dungeon. Are we having fun? Take a shot. 
Use your noodle. Oh, is that what this is? Take a shot. I can't. There isn't enough liquor in the world. Oh. <laughs> Why are they shushing? They tore out a door and nobody heard that. <laughs> They petrified her! You saw it happen! Oh, forgive me, Bridget! It wasn't your fault, Huggins. You were just trying to help. Wait, that's all you need? What was all the fuss about in Chamber of Secrets? A teacher hugging a student? Can you say lawsuit? Look! The key! Yes, how convenient of her to leave the key to the thing she wants to protect most on the thing it's supposed to unlock. One of the first lessons of Evil Overlord 101. And apparently Bridget has magical powers to summon goblets in between shots. What are you doing at my young Mary's right Duh, we're stealing from you, Shaw. The key! Where is my key? Oh, you messed with That's what keeps me young! I foresee this ending with all of her arms intact. It's Alas, Mother Gothel, we knew thee well. If anyone asks, Huggins did it. We did it! Yay! We killed someone! Broke into her home, stole her greatest treasure, left her for dead. Who are the good guys here again? Don't forget your shoe! We were in Snow White, not Cinderella. Look out for the jaw! It was all pointless, like life. When did you become so morbid? When you press play on this movie! There, there, Dumbo stuff probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Yes, make her feel like her hard work was even more pointless. Great job, master of cheering people up. Remember what the bookworm told you? Affection, hugging, and being needed? That's better than any old magic berries anytime. Have you tried those magical green leaves? I don't get it. And I love you for your innocence. I get it! She loves you, and I know you love her too. So once in your life, just show it, or I'll never speak to you again. Little sister laying down the law! I don't know, that threat seems counterproductive. I hope they packed enough air in those suitcases. Don't you ruin those eyes staring at those electronic gadgets your dad bought you. We're all doomed. This granny is gonna put some zing in their shuffleboard games. The croquet matches will be most intense. I love you. <laughs> and I don't want you to go. Help me! I'm failing! Ruthie, drop them. All right, enough of this. Graham's is staying. End of discussion. Parker, she needs to be with people her own age. Oh, Ruth, age has nothing to do with it. Besides, you're as young as you are loved. I can't make fun of this. I, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> well, that happens to a lot of guys, you see. I'll give them a moment. Haven't you ever seen a grown nurse cry? I love how you specified a grown nurse. Is there any other kind? Where's the cap? I'll explain if you'll just keep an open mind and pay attention. I have no mind left to keep. There's little crazy people in a mirror. I want my cat back, right now. Where is it? That was the sanest reaction to anything in this movie. What did you think? That was a lot of fun. Agreed. Absolutely. Wait, what? Yeah, I would totally watch it again with some friends. Okay, it's not a good movie at all. The dolls are creepy. The acting's atrocious. The story is bonkers, but it's just so weird and entertaining. You get a bunch of friends together, some sugary snacks, and it's perfect riffing material. If we were going by the Jello Apocalypse scale of ratings, I'd give it a negative seven out of 10. If only for the queen alone. And the ending? It was genuinely sweet and funny. I honestly can't find anything to genuinely dislike in this movie like I did with the G3 A Very Minty Christmas from last year. 
Despite the fact that both are obviously trying to sell toys to young children, there's real passion put into the Hug -a Bunch film. They're not trying to talk down to the kids, but talk with the kids. Even giving some very intriguing life lessons in a way that a young child will easily understand. I know it wasn't meant for an older audience, but holy cow, there is so much unintentionally awkward humor here. We were all laughing quite a bit more than Lightning Bliss had expected from us. Wait, you enjoyed it? Oh, come on! You must be joking! Silver, Silver, tell me you're at least in pain! Uh, Silver? Don't mind me, I'm just working on a project. Personally, I enjoyed it for the absurdity, yet they did tackle a few mature things like familial relations, respect for the elderly, and even that sidewalk joke was clever. The only thing I didn't enjoy was the lead heroine's dialogue. She doesn't sound like a real kid, but hey, that's a common complaint about a lot of stories aimed at kids, and some Shyamalan films. I gotta say, Blissy Bliss, you gotta work on your torture techniques. So what are you working on? I'm helping Bliss understand what it really means to torment. So let me introduce you all to my latest creation, Flashbot. I think he wants to taste the rainbow. Indeed. Flashbot. Initiate Huggles mode. Curse you, Silver! I swear on all things color, I shall have my revenge! Let me see Pony one of me, I will have my revenge! You're really pushing this. Yep. This is by no means a healthy hobby. Nope, but it does test the limits of an alicorn's patience. Keep at it, Bliss. This is for science. All of my hatred, not even your insurance will protect you from my rats. So, want to watch it again? As long as we bring in a few more people who haven't seen it yet. Sure. Oh, how this deliciously backfired. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, Josh Scorcher and his brony Got together in Salt Lake City They had a contest to see who would prevail And made the most in ticket sales The winner would be spared this fate While the losers would be packaged up and blasted into space <laughs> They sent a cheesy movie The worst she could find He'll have to sit and watch it all While she monitors his mind Now keep in mind Josh can't control When the movie begins or ends He'll have to keep his sanity With the help of his brony friends Brony roll call silver Dr. Wolf Final cut Other science facts. Just repeat to yourself, it's just a show. I should be just relax. For Hug a Bunch Review 3000.